state capitol now. This was a deadline day at the legislature. 12 News' Tal Ta was there. The bill passes. Next item. Deadline day on Thursday at the state capitol meant bills originating from their own house either survived or died. Bill failed. A bill expanding internet access to unserved areas, for one, made it through. An amendment by House Minority Leader Robert Johnson III would ensure those who don't even have it at all can get up to speed and connect to the World Wide Web. Lawmakers like Representative Zakia Summers are all for it in her Terry area. I have mothers who are calling me who are saying, my children need to turn in these assignments. We have to go to McDonald's to be able to do that. Plus, an amendment brought forth to House Bill 1510 would prevent people from being wiped off the voting rolls, a huge topic of debate. If you're a registered voter, you remain a registered voter, and it doesn't matter if you voted in elections. It may, you may take a five-year hiatus or a five-election hiatus. It doesn't matter. When you get an opportunity to vote, that access ought to still be available to you. A bill that would have charged a lump sum of $2,500 for the public to get a copy of a voter registration file ultimately died failing to reach the three-fifths majority vote. Let's get something started that will allow the gentle ladies from Hines, will allow the gentleman from Wayne, the gentle lady from Jones, and all of you that have come to me and said, what can I do? to get broadband out to my people. Live in Jackson, Tau Ta, 12 News.